It's gonna get hot in here. Woo! Well, hi guys. How are ya? Are you ready for a hot and steamy video today? So, Love Island. What is it? I actually have no idea what it is. I've actually never seen the show in my life. From the two minutes of research that I put into this video, Love Island is like the British baby of Big Brother and Bachelor in Paradise. So basically just another trashy reality TV show. But from what I've recently discovered, there is actually an app that goes along with the TV show and it's called Love Island The Game. And I figured, you know what, for this video, why don't I become a gaming channel for the day? So today we're going to be playing Love Island The Game. So the Love Island game is like that one app episodes that was popular a year ago. And I've heard plenty of interesting things about it. So I'm excited to dive into the game today. And I hope you guys are too. I can't believe I am making my debut into the gamer world. Wow, I am unstoppable. So I guess we need to sit back, relax, and get ready to have a hot and steamy summer. And I think without any further ado, it's time to get into the game. Wow, can you believe I'm a gaming channel now? That's like kind of iconic. Love Island would like to send you notifications. Mm, no thanks. It's finally time to enter the villa. Oh, I guess that's what it's called, right? The villa as opposed to like the house and Big Brother. <laughs> the house. Get ready for the hottest summer of your life. Oh baby, I am ready. You know, I've actually never had a summer fling, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. Life can be dull. Life can be boring. Day after day, it's just the same old routine. But for the chosen few, everything is about to change. I love the dramatics already. 11 Islanders are on their way to find love and you're one of them. I'm one of them guys. I, can you believe I'm one of the 11 Islanders? That's crazy. We've lined you up a brand new villa with all the mod cons. Oh yeah, baby. A luxury pool, a fire pit, and that absolute holiday essential. A massive communal bedroom. Ooh, we love a college dorm tease. Congratulations, you've been selected for Love Island. Can you believe I got chosen for Love Island? Please get ready. Your taxi is on its way. Hashtag welcome to paradise. Hashtag game on. It's time to create your Islander. What do you want to be called? Ooh. You know, I think I want my Islander to be a bitch. You know, what's like a bitchy name that I can call her? Bitchy name. Let's go with Lindsay. Lindsay's like kind of a bitchy name, so we're gonna go with that. Also, sorry to all the Lindsay's out there. I'm sure you're all fine people. And confirm. What do I wanna look like? That's an important question. I think Lindsay's like that typical Instagram baddie that's promoting fit tea everywhere. All right, what kind of hair does Lindsay have? I can't decide if I wanna give Lindsay a long wavy moment or if I wanna give her that side pony. I think Lindsay's a side pony girl, so we're gonna go with that. I think we're gonna go with the dark brown hair. So what do I do in real life? I am a runway model, social media influencer, a f trainee heart surgeon. Ooh, just like a just like a casual trainee heart surgeon. I love how he went from social media influencer to a literal heart surgeon. Or is she a conceptual artist? What does that mean? Do I want her to be a social media influencer? <clears throat> Literally the title influencer makes me want to gag. We're gonna go with conceptual artist because I have no idea what that means. You're about to see some outfits. You have some gems to buy one. You can use gems to unlock new outfits and special opportunities to give you the edge in the game of love. Make sure you pick something that's gonna turn the Islanders heads cause we love seeking approval. So do we want a high-waisted red bikini, a golden bikini, or don't get changed. What does a golden bikini look like? Mmm, that's tacky. Um, let's try something else. What is a high-waisted red bikini? See, she doesn't look good at that either. You know, let's go with the high-waisted red moment. This is perfect. Mmm, don't know about that one. Yes! This is the one! I look amazing! You'll get more opportunities to choose what you wear during your time in the villa. Make sure you always dress to impress, even when you're sleeping, cuz... As I said, we love seeking approval. After months of preparation, you're here. It's finally time. It's actually happening. It doesn't feel real. I keep thinking I'm about to wake up. You step out of the Jeep and there it is. The villa. Your life will never be the same again. I like how the transitions are hearts. It really sets the mood. Another girl arrives at the same time as you. She waves as she sees you approach. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm Allegra, it's so good to meet you. Wait, isn't Allegra like the name of an allergy pill? Yeah, right, Allegra D, right? No, Allegra D. All right, so what's the tea on Allegra D? She is 24 from Swansea. Swansea, Swansea, I'm sorry. She's a cocktail entrepreneur. We don't know what that means either. Yeah, what? 
So is she just a bartender? She She's just a bartender then, right? Allegra D, you're confusing already. That outfit's absolutely amazing, by the way. Oh my God, this sounds so fake already. I kind of wish I dressed up a little bit more. Another girl walks in as Allegra D finishes speaking. Hi, my name's Erica. All right, so what's the tea on Erica? She's 20 from Norwick. She's a jobbing actor and she's made over a hundred makeup tutorials. Wow. See, I can't think of an unproblematic beauty guru to compare her to, so we're just gonna move on. She totters towards you and embraces you warmly. So happy to meet you both. Ugh. We're happy to meet you too, Erica. You're about to see a choice. It's up to you what kind of person you wanna be and who you wanna spend time with. So should I talk about myself, ask about Allegra D, or ask about Erica? You know, I wanna be polite and make a good first impression and ask about them, but the Leo and me is saying to talk about myself. So, in the outside world, I'm a conceptual artist. I still have no idea what that means. Wow, we're just getting your whole life story, huh? Allegra D, don't give me that attitude. What does that even mean? Honestly, Allegra D is spilling the tea now. I don't know what a conceptual artist means. I make art, but it's more like about the idea of art. What? Lindsay. Lindsay, sweetie, are you on crack? Is Lindsay on crack? I think I have an artistic soul, but like, I'm very results oriented. I love that we got someone creative in the villa though. That sounds like shade, Allegra D. So, what are you guys hoping to get out of the villa? Am I here to find love? Am I here to have fun? Or am I here for the prize money? You know, we'll say we're here to find love. Aww. Exactly! Ugh. Allegra D gets me. That's what it's all about. Well, don't forget to enjoy yourself. For me, it's about new beginnings. You'll learn all kinds of things about the other islanders. Pay attention to what they say. It might be useful later on. I've just come out of this really intense breakup and I need to get a fresh start. Who broke Allegra D's heart? I just wanna know, I just wanna talk. What happened? Well, I realized he was cheating on me with his personal trainer and Erica raises her eyes at you. Erica, what's the tea? Oh, check it out, another girl. Allegra points across the lawn. Uh-oh. Hey girls, I'm Jen. Oh my God, I can already tell Jen's gonna be the bitch. Jen walks elegantly towards the group, tossing her hair over her shoulder as she embraces you. The tea on Jen is, she's 22 from London, a fashion blogger, says she has mega resting bitch face. Ooh, we love that. We're all looking for love, right? I mean, why else are we here, Jen? Please tell me. That's the name of the game. We were just talking about it and we all said the same thing. She's cut off by the sound of a Jeep pulling up outside. Whoa, whoa. Hi guys, I'm Talia. Oh my God, there's a lot of people we're being introduced to. Talia strides across the garden towards you, swinging her hips and looking at everybody in turn. Her gaze seems to linger on you a moment longer than anyone else. So. The tea on Talia is, she's 23 from Watford, she's a music journalist, and less high maintenance than her hair. Oh my god, I want to know all about you guys. For a few minutes, Jen bar 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 barrages, how do you say that? She asks everyone questions. You pour everyone some champagne. And then I found the wedding ring, so I knew how to chuck him. Ooh. Allegra D was just saying she came out of a bad breakup too. He broke up with you, right? That's not what happened. Haven't you guys been listening at all? Uh oh, Allegra D's getting, she's getting angry. Allegra D's ex was cheating on her with his, ooh, this is a pop quiz. It was her personal trainer, or his personal trainer, I should say. Oh, it's so sweet that you were listening. I can't wait to get to know you guys. Aw, Allegra D, you're so sweet. An emoji cloud like the one you just saw means an islander's feelings towards you have changed. This will affect the way they act around you. I should have realized what was going on. He was going to the gym loads, but he wasn't getting any fitter. Well, I mean, he was going to the gym for loads, I guess you can say. Ugh, get red. What about you, Lindsay? What kind of body does your ideal man have? Oh my God, we're just like jumping to that. My ideal body type is tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Cute, small, well put together. Not important, as long as they make me laugh. Well, for me personally, I would choose the fourth option, but this is Lindsay we're talking about here. What does Lindsay want in a guy? I feel like she'd been to like the frat boy type, so we're gonna go with Sun's out, guns out. Someone totally stacked. The kind of guy who hangs out at the beach. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Someone with big, strong arms that you can wrap around yourself. And what about personality? All right, so what are the ideal personalities? Intense and romantic, one of the lads, 
quiet and thoughtful or not important as long as they're good and bad. Wow, they just, they're just really jumping to the point here. What would Lindsay say? What would Lindsay say? WWLS, as opposed to what would Jesus do? What would Lindsay say? Not important as long as they're good in bed. If he knows his way around the bedroom, nothing else really matters. That's the spirit. Ha, huh, yes, right answer. Oh my God, we're all equally shallow. That's great. Can I ask you guys something? Ooh, what's the tea, Talia? Like, are you guys going to actually get intimate in here? Wait, oh my god, are they gonna have sex? Oh my god, I don't know if I'm prepared for that. You don't mind if it's on TV. Choose carefully. The other islanders will remember what you say. Am I gonna get intimate during the show? What would Lindsay do? I think it would depend on the person for her because Lindsay is the picky type. Oh my god, Allegra D agrees with me. She said that's how I feel too. Wow, it's like Allegra D and I were like two peas in a pod. If the right man comes along though, <laughs> I think we know what you mean, Lindsay. But the whole point is to hook up with hot guys. I think there's a little bit more to it than that. Talia's like the wet blanket of the villa, I've noticed. So you're not gonna hook up for the whole summer, Talia? Yeah, you fucking prude. I haven't really decided to be honest. Before the conversation can continue, Jen's phone beeps. Oh, what's this? I get the first one. Awesome. Wait, what does that mean? the first one. She clears her throat. Guys, I got a text. I've been looking forward to that way too much. Looking forward to what? Hello girls and welcome to Love Island. Please gather on the lawn. It's time to bring in the boys. Whoa, whoa. Hashtag the wait is over. Hashtag boy parade. All right, let's see what these stallions look like. The door to the villa bursts open. How are you doing girls? <laughs> I'm Jake. All right, Jake. He's 29 from Preston. He's a chef and has known heartbreak. Wow, Jake is a deep man and he can cook. Jake stands with his shoulders square and his hands clasped together. For a moment, he doesn't move. A little nervous there, Jake. No, just overwhelmed by all these beautiful people. Jake looks like a film star, really intense or kind of scared. I'm gonna say like a film star cause she loves those suns out, guns out type of boys. He's old school handsome. I love it. Ooh, Lindsay's horny right now. I can sense it. He's looking right at me. So should I wink at him or look down at my feet? You know what, Lindsay? You're gonna wink at his ass. Let's go. His cheeks flush red. Whoa, whoa, there's sparks flying between Jake and Lindsay. Jake jogs down to the lawn as the next boy steps out. All right, who's this next piece of meat that we're gonna meet? All right, ladies, I'm Mason. We're gonna have such an epic summer. Ooh, Mason's kinda hot. He's 24 from Romford, musician and underwear model, and his favorite food is love hearts. Mason shields his eyes from the sun as he steps forward, radiating confidence. He catches your eye and smiles at you. Mason, huh? I like his vibe. I like his abs. Meh. Meh. Hmm, I like his abs. That's what Lindsay would say. You could grate cheese on those things. You could say a lot about someone having abs, but grating cheese is not one that I would say personally. He looks at you and nods hello. Sup. Mason's giving me the eye. So should I smile back or look away? I think Lindsay would smile back, so we're gonna smile back. He grins. Mason takes his place next to the other boys, grinning widely. The next boy is close behind. All right, everybody, I'm Miles. Should I go the extra mile for him? <laughs> Miles is 22 from Glasgow. He's a carpenter and a life goal of his is to build a house with his bare hands. So that means like Miles is good with his hands, right? All right, I'm into it. Miles catches your eye and throws you a cheesy wink. Miles seems totally extra, my type on paper, or pretty good looking. I'd say, I don't know if she's into gingers, but like, he's pretty good looking. He's got the looks, but will he have the banter? He strikes a strong man pose, whatever that means. Miles is trying to show off his muscles, so should I cheer or not encourage him? I, we're not gonna encourage that. No, mm. You know, let's be basic, let's cheer. Woo! Awesome! Miles bows and blows a kiss at you. Wow, you're cracking on all the boys, huh? Erica, you need to mind your business. First impressions are everything, huh? You tell her, Lindsay. I wonder who's gonna be next. Just as you say that, the next boy walks out. Wow, everyone's so fit. I'm Tim, by the way. 23 from Truro. Truro? 
from somewhere. He's a DJ and describes himself as a genius. I want to know what qualifies him as a genius. I guess we'll find out later in this game. He mimes fanning himself and walks straight into Miles. Are they gonna fight? <gasps> ha! This guy's hilarious. Tim looks like he's got banter. He's full of himself or a handful. I'm gonna say he's a handful. I wonder if he's this full on all the time. He grins at you and makes a calming gesture with his hands. Ooh. I already don't like Tim. So should I flutter my eyelashes at him or ignore him? Are we gonna give him attention? Mm, what else am I doing? He grins. The next boy runs a hand through his hair as he swaggers out the villa. Hi darlings, I'm Jasper. I can't wait to get to know you all. So Jasper, he's 26 from Kingston. He's a financial advisor, so he's got money and likes fine dining, classic cars, and Instagram stalking. Jasper seems like he'd be a good kisser, he needs a haircut, or a total snob. I think he'd be a good kisser. Mm. He seems really confident. That's a good sign. He stands with his arms folded and looks at the girls. What kind of first impression do I want to make with Jasper? Well, I mean, I give all the boys attention, so I might as well give Jasper attention. So should I make bedroom eyes or look at my nails? I think we're gonna make bedroom eyes. Jasper notices you looking at him and raises an eyebrow. Lindsay's a player. She's playing the field this season. Five boys and five girls. Is that everyone? As if in response to her question, the door opens one more time. Uh-oh, who's gonna walk through? One more guy walks out grinning. Hello, ladies. I'm Levi. Ooh, hello, Levi. So Levi's 26 from Manchester. He's a professional water polo player, and his friends call him Romeo. So does that mean he's gonna meet a girl, fall in love with her in three days, and then they're gonna kill themselves? Levi, he's a dreamboat. Those shorts make a statement. Hmm, not sure about his hair. I think he's a dreamboat, personally, but that is what a proper man looks like. He looks confident, but not too over the top as he surveys the other islanders. Ooh, I, I have a good feeling about Levi. Levi's checking everyone out. So should I catch his eye or act like you're not bothered? I think we're gonna catch his eye. Lindsay's playing the field today, girls. As you make eye contact, he raises his eyebrows slightly. A tiny smile forms in the corner of his mouth. The men size each other up. So there are six boys and only five girls? Amazing! While the boys are checking each other out, you catch Mason glancing at you. Looks like my little smile worked. He already can't keep his eyes off me. It looks like he's about to say something, but he's interrupted as Erica's phone beeps. Oh my god, what does it say? Read it out loud. Islanders, you got the rest of the day to get to know one another. You will couple up by the fire pit at sunset when the girls will choose their partners. The boy that isn't chosen will be dumped from the island immediately. Hashtag get on the graft, hashtag return ticket, hashtag girls on top. The girls all share a grin. The boys look like they've been electrocuted. Except for Mason. There's an awkward moment as the two groups eye one another up. Well boys, I guess we'd better crack on. Who talks like that? Coming up next on Love Island, Levi gets busy in the bedroom. Yeah, they're really bouncy. Love it. <laughs> Oh. Tim rubs Miles up the wrong way. I'd wind you up so hard you'll think you're a clock. Go off, sis. And one of the boys is dumped from the island. You won't want to miss it. So it looks like we have reached the end of the first episode. So that means if you guys want a part two, you need to let me know down below. Um, this was honestly really fun. Um, I feel like we didn't get to see much, but I guess if we want to see more, then y'all better request a part two, even though I'm probably going to wind up making it in a few videos from now. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Again, as I said, if you would like a part two to this video, let me know down below and I will definitely bring that to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. I love you. I'm going to stop talking now. Bye. Woo! Thank you.